I am having the worst day. Obviously, you know, let's put that in perspective. There are people having much worse days than me, but ugh, the worst day. Um, so far, and I will have possibly spoken about this on a video if this video ever gets completely finished and filmed and edited and uploaded, you may have already seen it. Um, so far, I have just had a ridiculous time. I mean, look how far I've got with this makeup video. Not very far. And I've been interrupted about 100 times. And most recently, I was stood at the door for 15, 20 minutes with an Amazon delivery guy. Well, if that's another delivery. While he um, called head office because there was something wrong with the geocode of my neighbour. And I was taking in two parcels, one for neighbours either side. I bet this guy is around the back of my house right now. Um, trying to deliver it to a different area with the neighbour. Ah! I swear to God, who does that? Who would keep someone standing on their doorstep while they were calling someone for all of that time when it isn't even for them. And then last night, about one o'clock in the morning, I was woken up. You know when you were so deeply asleep that a noise, like an exterior noise, um, a, a non-diegetic noise, I wanna say, from film studies, a noise on the outside becomes part of your dream. Um, well, it was like that and I was like, what is going on? It was a car horn. And it was a car horn that kept like, nah, nah, nah. and then eventually just for a really extended period of time, and then someone shouted out of a window like, F up. Um, and by this point I thought I have to see what, who this person is. So I could see kind of through the trees some lights, but I couldn't see who it was. They kept kind of vaguely moving around. I saw a woman get out of a car and go into her house and I thought it must be unrelated, but it was weird at that time in the morning. Um, I thought surely, I can't believe she hasn't mentioned this to this guy because if I'd gone out of my car and I could hear someone beeping, I definitely would have said something just on behalf of everybody else that lives here. Um, anyway, about 15 minutes later, let's say, because it just felt like it went on forever, but it was probably no more than 15 minutes. Um, this guy parks in the driveway and Lee said, oh, he's the guy that lives there. And I said, no, he can't be like, you wouldn't do that if you lived there. Yes, it was the guy that lived there. He went and parked in his driveway and got in and then he took a picture of um, another car. So I think there was a car that was ever so slightly over his drive. Obviously he could still get in his drive. And so to try and lure that person out of whichever house they were in, he was beeping at that time in the morning and just disturbing the entire of this estate. Ah, uh, right now, right at this very moment, I hate living here. So another thing, while I'm already ranting, this video <laughs> has been uploading for about two hours. 6%. Again, something about this house that drives me crazy is the internet is so terrible. So it's about an hour and 10 minutes before I've got to set off to get the kids. I filmed no videos. Excellent. Needed a Coke. I thought I'd show you the filming setup right now. Um, I'm actually taking a little break because the little lights that I'm using run out of juice. So I've been hooking this. I think I showed you this either in another video or on something, I forget. But I'm hooking the back of my lighting onto the TV that's on the wall, probably super not safe. Um, and then I had the brainwave that I could use these little lights that I bought before and have them either side. I've already got some light from over there, but I had to close the blinds because it kept dipping in and out and ruining the shot. Um, but it turns out these can't be used whilst they're plugged in. Great, so that kind of ruined the idea. So now I'm waiting for them to charge up a little bit through this little device, which by the way, this is amazing. My brother bought me one of these from Amazon years ago and I use it on holiday all the time. So it just means you only need one adapter. And then I've got all these USB things and all the plugs, amazing. Um, so yeah, now I'm waiting. Here's the makeup. Here's some stuff that I wanted to talk about, but I can't because everything's going wrong. It's several hours later and I know what you're thinking. Her day must have improved. No, no it hasn't. It's going terribly. That video from earlier is still not uploaded. Um, <laughs> the videos that I was filming after the last time you saw me, I'm missing like five clips. Really important large clips. It's not a good day. Also, this is the situation that I have to clean before I go to bed. And right now I have to read several chapters of a book to Milo. I finally finished editing, stuff is exporting. iMovie's crashed multiple times, but we're forgetting about that. 67% uploaded of the vlog. Let's go and read some Faraway Tree. 76%. In more positive news, this makeup's lasted pretty well. I am really shiny now. I'd need to powder, but the lipstick, um, and I'm wearing false eyelashes. This one's pinging up a little bit there, but this is like, for, an, for a false eyelash novice, let me just move that, because that's like horrible uplighting. Um, 
it's not too bad and they're actually quite comfortable these are the benefit eyelashes and the eyeshadow I'm really digging and um, because I'm now editing videos of me wearing it I'm like hmm I would wear that again that is the naked heat palette and now the internet has gone off completely how annoying do you have those days where you think you must have done something really terrible in a previous life it's five past ten the video is still not uploaded it's not been a great day so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get in the bath the hottest bath i can possibly stand to be in watch the good place on netflix which is great by the way um and go to bed and then fingers crossed we're gonna wake up tomorrow morning with a completely different attitude it is friday morning and things are looking up Hooray! <laughs> I've just been to Boots to get the last bits and pieces that I needed to get for my friend's birthday um, and m and to get some, you know, the dine for £10 thing because I was feeling, you know, I was feeling a little bit flash. We'll do the dine for £10 thing and some Diet Coke because I desperately needed that. Now, because I've been around all that food, all I want to eat is fish finger sandwiches, weirdly. I've become, like, obsessed. Lee had to make me one last night. He didn't have to, but he did have to make me a fish finger sandwich. I love them so much. But, question, do you have cheese on your fish finger sandwiches or ketchup? That divides people. I have cheese because I'm basically trying to recreate a filio fish without the tartar sauce. To me, it's completely normal to have cheese. But to some people, not so much. To cheese or not to cheese. Here's how my day has gone. Not well. More technology fail. <laughs> it is like, oh, I've just um, edited two of the videos that are going to go up before this vlog. And this week, we may as well just dedicate this week to like ranting and raving because every single one I've been like, oh my God. But it's done now. Uh, I just need to do some thumbnails and stuff and put some stuff away. And then I'm going to go and get in the bath and face mask. I bought a bunch of face masks from Boots earlier on when I got my friends some bits and pieces and some like under eye masks, which I'm all about. Really, really excited to use those tonight. And then tomorrow, it's the Bloggers Blog Awards in Leeds, which I'm really excited to go to because there's tons of bloggers that I've never met there before. I'm going to go and meet up with a couple, well, one blogger that I know and her friend. Um, so that's going to be really fun. And then on Sunday, we're going to London with Emma and Chris to go and listen or watch. Uh, my dad wrote a porno live, which is really cool. So, yeah, I think that's part of the reason that I was so, like, angsty about it was that I knew I had to get stuff done. But it's done now. It's done now. Yeah, I know, money. It smells amazing. So what I've got from Marks and Spencer's, <laughs> which is like the fanciest dinner, Parmesan mash. I've got, I think this is beef mac and cheese. And this was like truffle, bacon, some kind of vegetable. I don't know, with cauliflower cheese. Ugh. It just smells and sounds amazing. Oh my God, it's like the most frustrating thing. Especially because of where it is, you can't really put all your weight into it because you'll fall down the stairs. Success. I'm not sure if it was skill or pure anger that got it off in the end, but seriously. I'm not making this stuff up now. This is not a good couple of days. I said it yesterday, but I'm going to say it again. Today is a new day and we're starting fresh. that's step one of my makeup so I've done kind of all the base and all the many many coats of primer uh, I think I'm slightly overexposed better I think that's better so I've done like a thousand layers of um, Smashbox primer water in between everything and I'm not putting powder on until the very last minute I've got to go and take Ella to the um, ice skating rink right now because she's gonna go see some friends then I'm gonna come back finish kill my hair get ready and go I really don't know what to wear I'm leaning towards this from H&M it's really not me and it's not particularly flattering, but I really like it. And I like the message um, because obviously it's the Bloggers Blog Award. And I don't know, I feel like it's a good one, but I'm not sure. It's the length of it. It, it feels like I'm wearing kind of like a moo moo. And for someone who's heavier on top, this is not giving me any kind of waist definition at all. Not that I've got a waist. Um, also, these are the H&M jeans that I showed in my haul as well. Really like these. And now I'm not wearing the leggings underneath them. They're not quite so tight. Milo has been advising me what to wear, what to do with my hair, and now lipstick. He's picked something that he said he couldn't decide between pink and red, so he's picked this, sure. which I think is called Chili Pepper. If you pull it out, look. Oh, From, okay. let me just check what it's actually called. 
Oh, Ole Flamingo from Bourgeois, and he wants to put it on, so. Yeah, I'm actually used to it. This could go really badly wrong. Okay, so you can put a little bit on, just in the middle. Okay, let's hold it. I'll this. hold that for then. It's not too bad. It's good. Is it good? Here, look. Oh, that's beautiful. You, you can do, do the rest. You want me to do the rest? Thanks. I am at the Vlogs Blog Awards. I totally forgot to vlog up until this point. So obviously you saw me getting ready and Milo helping me, but now we're here. I'm here with Megan. Hello. Say hello. hello. <laughs> I'm making new friends all the time. And we are waiting. It seems like it's going to start any second now, so I thought I would vlog a little bit. All the vloggers that I've ever met are so supportive and I feel like we have a lovely little community um, together and that means a lot, so thank you. I've got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> My other half said to me the other night, what are you gonna do if you win? I was like, well, I'm not gonna win, so I'm not thinking about it. And he said, well, as long as you don't sweat, you'll be fine. The <laughs> brunch with Polly was my little baby and it, I now do it full time. It just goes to show that if you really work hard and follow your passion, then your dreams can come true, so thank you. Okay, goodbye to everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. It was nice to see you all and I'll link you all in the information bar. <laughs> So when I last left you, I was in Leeds, and now I'm in London with Lee. We've come to stay at this Hub Premier Inn near King's Cross, and it's amazing. It's like a little, I mean, we've already kind of like messed it all up, but it's already like a, a, a Premier Inn, so you know it's gonna be of a certain quality and really comfortable beds and stuff. Um, but it's like a little compact cube of a room, so it's a little bit cheaper. I think we've got one in Covent Garden as well, maybe another one, but this is the first time we're staying in one, and so far, we really like it. Um, but I'll let you know tomorrow. Uh, so now we are off to uh, meet Emma and Chris. So we've had trouble with the tube because there's a line that's closed. But look, why we have trouble with the tube? Because they're filming something. Apparently it's a Disney film. But it's all like oldie worldy. It's more cars over there. London. Right, we've got chocolate lava cake. Rip oh, it smells. Um, yeah, I thought it smelled a bit weird as well. It smells like a savoury thing, like mayonnaise or something. We're at the sea containers in the Mondrian and we've just eaten dinner but we've got this and we don't even understand what exactly this is. This is chocolate lava cake, Guinness chocolate ice cream and then vanilla custard. Yeah, go for it. But it does smell strange. What do you guys think? <laughs> Come on. Can't even get into it. I haven't taken pictures of it. Chris? Oh, look at that. Nice. See, the it's no bacon though, right? Hang on, this is. Tasted good, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you can. That's custard though, right? Yeah. Oh my god, the ice cream. Tasted good, isn't it? Oh, that's delicious. Have you tasted the ice cream yet? I don't like the ice cream. No? I think that's maybe what we can smell. It's such a strong smell. Oh, god. The ice cream is really strong. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> It reminds me a little bit of Bailey's ice cream, but it's got a bitter aftertaste. It's a weird one. I'm just going to take someone and hug you. This is MCAM on Kyla's phone. Look. Look. Just to double check, you go to my dad's blog channel. That's what I'm saying. Why is he checking? Why is he checking? How many times did he have to say my dad's Happy? Don't nudge it. <laughs> Kyla, this is your camera. <laughs> so we are at the South Bank Centre. Look, there's Big Ben. Um, and we've come to see my dad wrote a porno, which is pretty exciting. I'm excited. Pretty exciting. Um, we think Chris is excited, but all we know so far is he really hates Macaulay Culkin. And He's Alicia very Keys. excited. Mm. He's so excited he has to stand behind Emma. He's to hide his excitement. <laughs> Hereby award you, Katie, a non stick <laughs> tin <laughs> walk. Yes, Belinda, I did. <laughs> Using my glasses cloth. And somewhat clumsy cat there. See? <laughs> the glass is gone. Oh, the specs. Oh my god, I am so tired. We've just been to get a snack and we're back in the room. Um, but it was really, really good, would you say? It was really yeah, good? Yeah, it was uh, better than I expected. I, I mean, I, I don't know if it was better than I expected, but I didn't know what to expect because obviously when you go and listen to 
um, or watch a live version of something you've only heard recorded, you don't really know what it's going to be, but it was really, really good. If you get the opportunity to go and see it, and if you haven't listened to the podcast, you absolutely should. It's hilarious. My dad wrote a porno, you must have heard of it. You maybe didn't listen to it because you thought it wasn't going to be your kind of thing. That definitely put me off for a long time, but it's so, so funny.